Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix HTML5 video file not found. Before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just under this video. Let's get started. So if you're having issues with your uh, websites here and HTML5 video is not found or you see or you see are seeing that specific error, well, there are a few things that you may need to do here. Now, the thing with this specific error here is sometimes the cache or the data that is stored in your browser may be full. So if your browser is experiencing that, you may need to clear your data. So this depends on what browser you currently have, but in my case, I am using Google Chrome. Now, at the top right of the screen, you want to go and click on the tree dotted option here, and you want to go to your settings. Now, in your settings, you want to go to the left side, and you want to go and choose the option for uh, history. So you can go and choose privacy and security as well if you don't see history. And in here, you want to go and choose the option for delete browsing data. Now, what you need to include here, so uh, you need to include browsing history, cookies and other site data, and cache images and files. Now, it is recommended that you choose at least four weeks, but if you want to clear all the time, go and click on all the time. Now, just keep in mind, this will delete or log you out from your account. So make sure that you know your password or uh, you don't have anything important locked in that you don't know your login details. But uh, once you have your settings set up here, click on delete data here, wait for a few seconds, and that should clear out any of the data and cache that you currently have right now on your browser. And that should solve your issue. Now, if that doesn't solve your issue, another thing that you could try doing here is you may want to disable any extensions that you may have recently installed. So you want to go and click on the puzzle icon or the extension button at the top right here. Click on manage extension and look for the extension that you recently enabled. What you need to do is you want to go ahead and click on the switch button here in order for it to disable that and see if that helps. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.